Skyward Sword is full to the brim with little easter eggs and fun details, but today I wanted to single out five of my favorites to share with you guys. Some of them you'll likely already know, but some of them might just teach you something new. Anyway, let's get started. Probably one of the most recognizable secrets on this list comes in the form of everyone's favorite Zelda character, Tingle. I know many of you think I'm saying that in a joking tone, but no, I mean it wholeheartedly. Even Zelda herself loves the guy and took the time out of her day to stitch together a little doll of the wannabe fairy. Now this doll can be seen through a crack in the divider separating Karan and Zelda's room, which in case you didn't notice, they actually share one larger room cleverly masked by these sturdy dividers. But to get a better close up look at this doll, you'll need to find your way to the Night Academy roof, pull out the claw shot and gain yourself access to the academy's chimney. Inside you'll find a grate overlooking the bathhouse, which if peered through at night allows you to spy on a bathing headmaster Kepora, if that's something you're into, and an air duct that will let you out right in the middle of Zelda's room. And here you'll find some collectible goodies as well as Zelda's journal written in the day prior to the start of the game, but the real prize here is an up close look at the nice little knit Tingle doll left on Zelda's shelf. There's even a letter with a heart on it nearby, I told you everyone loves Tingle. Some of the most interesting less known secrets in Skyward Sword are the ones that are left hiding in plain sight. Despite calling on the player to return to the sealed ground several times throughout the game, one obvious detail I never really paid any mind to was the murals left sitting on the wall at the base of the sealed grounds. If you give it a minute, these murals might start to look familiar. And that's because they are actually the very same illustrations shown in Skyward Sword's opening cutscene. The tale depicting the history between the rise of Demise and Hylia is not just shown in the game's opening to clue players into the world they are entering, but also displayed in said world exactly where you would most expect to see it, at the base of the sealed grounds. Groose is by far one of the Zelda series' best character additions ever in my book. Not only does he provide a foil to Link's quiet, respectful personality, but he's also a fantastic comic relief and even one of the most emotional characters in Skyward Sword's cast. Groose experiences real change throughout this game, and nothing could remind you more of that than revisiting his room in the Knight's Academy on Skyloft. This room makes the guy come off as a quintessential clueless bully jock character. A large mirror to look at himself, a bench press surrounded by weights, a portrait of himself hanging on the wall. And finally, one of my favorite details in this game, a punching bag with a poorly drawn Link face slapped on front of it. The mental image of Groose drawing this out, sticking it to his punching bag, and then going to town is just too hilarious. This next hidden secret can be found in Skipper's Retreat, the once home of Link's robot companion, Captain Skipper, from the Sansi portion of the game. In Skipper's home, three forgotten robots can be found. Robots that, based on portraits inside the house and Skipper's own dialogue, are the remains of Skipper's family. Yeah. That took a dark twist. Along with the sad story of the broken down robot remains in Skipper's humble abode, however, we can spot a glimpse at the robot's brighter days through the portraits on his wall. There's one of his expansive crew from when he was the captain of the sand ship, the sand ship setting sail on the once vast Linné Roux Sea, and even this funny little portrait depicting Skipper lifting up another robot on the bow of his ship. Now, in case you haven't quite figured it out yet, this is a pretty cut and dry reference to one of the most famous scenes in one of the most famous movies ever made, Titanic. What I find even more interesting is that this reference actually ties into another one of my favorite Zelda secrets. In an interview published in Art and Artifacts, the official Zelda art book, it was revealed by Nintendo artists Yusuke Nakano, Satoru Takizawa, and Yoshiki Haruhana that a famous actor actually inspired Link's modern design as it was crafted in Ocarina of Time. So when you were illustrating Ocarina of Time, Link, was there an inspiration for the character? Yes, a rather world-famous Hollywood actor. Yeah, at the time, if you were to talk about a really good-looking actor, people immediately thought of this guy. So I recall keeping in mind the point of his nose and the strong-willed look in his eyes when I was drawing. While it's impossible to say for sure what actor these designers were referring to in this interview, there is a strong likelihood that that actor is actually the star of 1997's Titanic and 1996's Romeo and Juliet, Leonardo DiCaprio. The facial similarities are there, the timing matches up, and the Zelda team even decided to pay homage to this classic Titanic scene in the form of Skipper's past.
Again, it seems that the sneakiest of secrets in Skyward Sword are the ones that are hiding right underneath our noses. The next time you experience the conclusion of Skyward Sword's story and the credits start to roll, I implore you to simply press A and start to wave your controller. What might catch you off guard when you do this is the sound of the goddess harp. That's right, an easily discoverable but widely missed secret, the Goddess Harp can be played freely on the credits of Skyward Sword. This means that you can attempt to perform alongside the credits theme as it plays out your adventure, or maybe even add your own, uh... interesting flair to the game's ending sequence. Well, Skyward Sword HD is now out, and there has never been a better time to jump back into this amazing game and experience some of these secrets for yourself. I know that's what I'll be doing. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about some of these secrets. Hopefully there was a new one in here that you had never heard of. I'd never heard of the credits one, or I <laughs> didn't notice the murals. So uh, that was cool, learning that when making this video. I know it was a bit different from the standard fare on my channel, but I thought it would be a great way to celebrate the release of Skyward Sword and give you guys some new secrets that you can find yourselves when playing the game, so I thought, yeah, it would be a good fit. Let me know if you do enjoy videos like this, though, just going over some interesting facts and all that, because I've been thinking about maybe doing some shorter videos kind of like this uh, to supplement larger theory videos and discussions and all that, you know, so I thought uh, we can test it out here with Skyward Sword, too, and uh, just have a grand old time here today. Also, if you did enjoy the video and haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel because it's just, uh, you click the button but it helps me out immensely and uh, I thank you guys so much for that. Uh, also, you can like the video to help share it around as well. That's also pretty cool. And finally, you can leave a comment down below. Tell me if any of these were new to you and if you have any other interesting Skyward Sword facts that you want to share. Let us know, you know? Thanks so much for checking out the video, guys. I hope if you're picking up Skyward Sword, you enjoy it. It is a great game. I'm looking forward to enjoying it again myself. And uh, until next time, have a great day, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>